used to have one nonsense policy of i think it was around 40,000 watch minutes i was on maybe like 6,000 my darlings he said i'm 1000 subscribers i was on 167 subscribers hey how will i get there what will i do and so what faithful day okay, how to get people to subscribe and not get bored with your content my darling eh? let me tell you the best trick eh? Guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? What's been happening? Today is a different kind of week to you. This is story time, my darling. Because people have been asking me, oh me, how are you doing it? Uh, 14,000 subscribers, which I love every of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You know how are you doing it? You're confident in front of the camera, your gisting skill is on point. I think I've been getting so much, or rather, I can count it as many so many love comments i'm so grateful i am aware that there are people in my subscription that want to start a youtube channel and they don't know how to do it this is all going to be me giving you my story before i got into youtube and my youtube journey here so my darling sit tight and let us start gisting before i say anything subscribe now please now like here we give gist to like if you're ever bored just come here there's only something sweet that you will watch and you will laugh and you'll be happy okay so my story sb finance girl I used to work in a finance house, yeah. I was in banking and finance. I thought that was my calling. I loved, I like calculation, you get me? But my job was a, was a marketing job. I was doing pretty well, earning great money, you get me? But I wanted to do more. I wanted to use my brain more. So someone told me to write a course for finance. I did that course, my daddy and I failed the course. This was December 2016. Ah! I thought like I was a big failure. That's how God now came. Now smiled at me, small. Now gave me an internship role at an investment bank. That time, eh, I wanted to get investment bank. Eh, ah, or oh, more. I did not care that I was internship. I just ran. Now they were paying me like, hey, God, lower, 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 lower than my salary. But they said after six months, write an exam, and if I pass, I will get into the job. And I was pretty smart, so I was sure that ah, don't worry, I'll pass, I'll pass, I'll pass. But however, in December 2016, yeah, I started my blog. Guys, I'm a story writer. That's why I can tell stories a lot. I love stories. I write stories. If you go to Talk to your homie, the blogspot.com. Don't worry, you sleep there. I have all kinds of stories. Just go to my blog, yeah. I'm gonna check it out. So I just had my blog at the time, yeah, and I just felt this sudden happiness, joy. I was just writing stories, I was getting comments, people were liking my stories. So I know that this was me who thought finance was my game, everything, you get me. So now fast forward to January 2017, I got the job, well, internship job, you get me. After six months, guys, I failed. We're five. They picked two. I was the third person. But it doesn't matter if I was the third or if I was the fifth. They did not pick me. Ah! I failed the exam in December. I failed internship in, uh, in, in June. I was, I've been doing internship from January to June. I was paid 45,000 naira. So all my savings, I'd use them. Guys, like I thought I was a failure. So YouTube, I just stumbled into YouTube. I did not plan to do YouTube at all. Like it wasn't in my, I like to do presenting. I don't presenting training, but I didn't just, I was just, I thought I was just doing it. You get me in here. So I literally ran away from my house. I was in my boyfriend's house at the time. I was just sad. I could not eat. I was crying. It was my first time feeling. So we had a party to attend. Uh, more we all white party and my boyfriend asked me you know what let's record this party you get me i'm like okay i just told myself omi if you failed finance do you know how hard the exam i wrote tfa i failed it like you'll be a fool to fail at presenting i told my boyfriend you know what eh we we'll get to the party just tell me i'll put the link of that video like in the description below go and watch it as in you never know that was my first time doing youtube you can never know i was so eh I, if you told me to go and meet, anybody told me to go and meet, I'll go and meet you because at the time I was doing sales, I understood that no will not kill me. I met a lot of celebrities who I'll go and meet you. I'll say, hi, my name is Omi, I'm a YouTuber, I want to make a video with you. Some will say, oh yeah, let's make a video. Some will say, ah, no, please. Hey, just now, I move on, wait to consign me. But this guy, a hit of MTV base. Ah, that guy was just a sugar. As in, he was so nice, he got my name, like, ah, I was so grateful. Just go and watch the video, you will love it, yeah? So, I found the party now, I asked to now come and edit the video, my darling. I did not, I had no experience with editing. I couldn't edit, but my friend could edit. So he did the editing for me, but he told me, Omi, you know what, you're going to sit down, eh? And you're going to edit, you're going to learn how to edit. Adobe Premiere Pro, 
it's not hard i'm telling you my darling it's not hard at the beginning you make mistakes the first video i did myself it was my review of alter ego guys i stutter I'm, I'm telling you all my can you say i guess what right now i'm telling you all my errors youtube has helped me right now I, I'm, I'm better at talking i'm more confident it told me oh me learn how to edit yourself so i sat down and he taught me editing I picked just cut, cut, join, cut, cut at the time. That was the first thing I learned. And I said, learning how to now write things on the screen, how to now put pictures. But I promise you, it is, if you want to do YouTube, you must learn how to edit. And editing is not hard at all all i was angry at finance i was like you know what i'm done with finance i've always liked to be a presenter let me even use this one and just start my own presenting you know career right what do i do on youtube i'm that person who everybody likes to tell their relationship story as in eh, all my friends come and tell me oh me the boy you know you no know, call me slaps me what do i do i used to hear gist for africa so I was like, okay if everybody tells me their relationship story how about i just come here and just give relationship advice you get me i was giving it I was growing, kind of, kind of, kind of growing, Sha. YouTube had one nonsense policy of, I think it was on 40,000 watch minutes. I was on maybe like 6,000, my darlings. It said, I'm 1,000 subscribers. I was on 167 subscribers. Hey, how will I get there? What will I do? And so one fateful day, my friend's boyfriend, I kept my see her, and I was with them, yeah? And I was talking about how Nigerian bloggers don't know how to take advantage of trends. I'm like, oh, really? Like, what? And at that time, yeah, Bibi Ninja, Double Wahala just started. I wasn't really watching it. And I was like, okay, now see, Big Brother Ninja started. Double Wahala. No one's talking about it. I'm not seeing videos. I'm like, hey, should I do this video? He was like, yeah, do it. I, I, and that's like the second point I'm going to tell you. you want to open a channel, my darling, eh? Be open-minded. Don't stick to one particular... Me, I don't know how to do niches because I like a lot of things. And I'm being truthful. I don't watch any particular thing. So if I like a lot of things, I don't know how to just give one person just one thing. Like, that's why Bibi Nanja is so interesting. Because it's a story. This person's life. That person... I, I just... I, you know? So when he said I should watch, I'm like, hmm... Should I do it? So I was like, okay, no problem, I'll do it. Um, at the time, yeah, they were two weeks gone. I did not know anybody. I went to just study about them, who they were, what they were like, what they said, and I just did the video. And I did the video, yeah. The video was very, ha, ah, I stuttered a lot. I was afraid. Like, it was just not my best work, yeah. As I was even thinking about that, I was like, okay, let me go on YouTube and see what anybody has talked about this video. This is my next point to you, my darling, yeah. You want to do youtube it's good to look at somebody or some channels to get tricks but don't get to a point where you get me you are now limited you know you're comparing yourself with everybody because that's where i'm telling youtube is a point youtube is a playing field there where you can like get lost i was lost and i went to say okay let me check what others are doing about youtube ah omar i saw one girl the girl was doing things that i liked oh my see the girl's own she did not stutter at all her english was very clean ah her background was fine she was ah ah i say see all this makeup i was not this good though see eh? Yeah? i'll put a link to one of the videos i did about big brother yeah so you can just compare the two of them nah, i wasn't this good though i was recording with my iphone though. i'm still recording with my iphone you see this camera i just got i just recently got it though before I, guys I'm, I'm being open with you yeah before i was in my phone audio it was not clear but that's the thing yeah start with what you have right now don't no pressure nothing at all anyways so i went to go and check the girls insta um, the girls youtube channel or more i was like god what will i do i said to call my friend who i called her hi tenny and um, please are you free let's be but i was like oh me i don't watch big brother ah oh my. i just realized that see eh? all i have is me Aisha went being sad, edited the video. I edited the video right like this, eh? And I put it on, on YouTube. The video, I mean, then I was getting like 100 views before Big Brother, 100 views, 90 views, 80 views. The video got 500 views. I'm like, wait, what? 1,000 views, 2,000 views, 5,000 views. Hey, right now I have 25,000 views on that video. I was mad. I'm like, wait, what? That's how I started, though that one taught me that people don't really care about what you look like who you are all they care about is what you have to offer what you have to say oh my guys i was doing youtube the way i knew how to do it natural clean i did not care about anybody and i was people liked me people were commenting that it was good i'm like really so my darling yeah don't box i mean start a niche here yeah, but when you when you see the thing that you're supposed to be doing here yeah, nobody will tell you like obviously i knew that big brother was my thing because I could tell stories 
People loved it. People liked the way I summarized. People just liked my whole action, yeah. And then next next thing I did was that I, because I was looking at other people, yeah, I tried to sit down with a certain way, be a certain way, do a certain way. Um, at some point, yeah, I just figured that, see, for me to be the best version of myself, I have to be me. If I want to speak Peter, go speak PG. If I want to speak Igbo, I'm going to speak Igbo. If I want to speak Igbo, anything I want to speak, I'll speak because that's who I am. That's who that person is. People can tell when you're faking. People can tell when you're not real. You get me? I'm me, Omo. I didn't have time to fake. I was like, and that was the best I could be myself. Let me see if I answer all your question, Baba Dudu. You said, how did I figure out the content I wanted to do? I stumbled upon it. I tried something new. It worked for me. People have worked for me and I'm good. Next, you ask me my equipment and gadget. I use my iPhone, my darling. I'm begging God to bless me to first get a camera. No, 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 no. To first get a laptop. I need a new laptop. Then I will now do a camera. I just got this um, microphone recently. Start with what you have, really. Just tell your friends and family. And don't be angry when your friends don't watch your videos because how many friends do you have? Before, I used to be angry that, uh-uh, my friends are not watching me. But when I just figured that, I have videos of 200,000 views. I don't have that many friends in real life. So it doesn't matter if your friends watch your video. That's your business. Just do you. Be true to yourself. And be original. Be, be yourself. If you have hate factor, talk with hate factor. If anything that you have, just be yourself. But learn as you grow. Just like me, I learned how to do my makeup. I learned how to do... Like, just learn as you grow. But don't... No pressure. No pressure at all. Don't be focused on views. Pray to God, do your best work. No, let me work editing. I edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. I want to change it, my dad. Let me just tell you guys now. To export with Adobe is hard. It's not even hard, it's long. A lot of times I've edited the video like six, but exporting will take time. I think it's my laptop that has the issue. I'm not sure, but when I get a new laptop, I hope to use DaVinci Resolve. I heard it's fast, I heard it's better. But right now, I think Adobe is good, really. If you have a good laptop, it will work for you. You get me? But yeah, I use Adobe. How long? I, I started YouTube um, July 2017. Yeah, and I'm here now and I have, as of today, 14,000 subscribers. Mwah to you guys. Please follow me, yeah? Any advice for newbies? Be yourself. Trust your journey. No pressure. Nobody's channel should make you feel intimidated. Nothing. Do you. This is my sitting room. I don't care. It's not who I am or how fine I look. It's what I have to offer me my mind my voice my everything like you know no pressure at all and talk to your subscribers let them know that because it's not easy for them to click subscribe they like you so you have to like them back i mean you have to like them back my darling okay, how to get people to subscribe and not get bored with your content my darling eh the way to do it is just to be yourself but let me tell you the best trick eh when you're editing a video yeah even if it means that the video will be one minute, anything that you think is boring in the edit, take it away. That's the trick. And then, let me tell you one thing that happened to me last year that opened my eyes. So what happened to me was, was that from 167 subscribers, I grew to, I think, 5,000 or 6,000, yeah? Subscribers, yeah? As I grew to that now, I was like, oh my God. But these people came to me because of Big Brother, you get me? And afterward, my view, like I was getting, I mean, I got... 200k views in a month one video ah guys but i moved back to 100 views 200 views 300 views that was my problem i wasn't personal with my subscribers i did not know what they really wanted and that's why i want to ask everybody watching me right now my darling what kind of content do you like to see on youtube what do you i mean what do you come to youtube to watch is it gist is it entertainment gist is it movie reviews is it giveaways? What do you just like to see? So that if I know what you like, please go to the comment section and tell me. Like, your comments will mean so much to me. I promise you, like, I need it. Because, I mean, I love you. Right now, I really do love you. So tell me, what do you want to see on YouTube? And I will try to inculcate it. If I cannot do it, I think I cannot do it. I cannot keep myself. Please tell me in the comment section. So that I will not have heartbreak. Oh, people are not finished now. I will not have views. And I'm crying and i cry and i don't know i go for me what the fuck so i hope i answered your question very well baba dudu i wish you luck i wish you confidence trust the journey it's an interesting ride it's tiring editing is not easy but don't worry it's not hard trust the journey my darling and yeah that's all i talked about in this video if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up 
thank you so much for watching subscribe and click the bell button beside the subscribe uh -huh. but do yes also tell everybody to click the bell button beside the subscribe button